Americans on their first trip to England usually feel like they need to pay a visit to Stonehenge. I don't mean to slam the place, but it is often a very touristy, crowded, rather expensive bunch of really old rocks that technically you can see from the A303 motorway as you pass by without having to buy a ticket for 26 pounds per person. So I like to remind people that there are other Neolithic stone circles one can visit in Britain. For example, I like Avebury the best. That large collection of stones is fascinating and gorgeous and a joy to wander through. I'll share our visit to Avebury in an upcoming vlog. But today, I'm going to take you to see another prehistoric stone circle I love because it is conveniently located in the gorgeous Cotswold Hills. I recommend if you want to see some really old rocks, consider stopping by the Rollwright Stones on your tour of the Cotswolds. The Rollwrights are located near Long Compton in Oxfordshire, just a few minutes down the road from this cool Four Shire Stone that marks where the boundaries of the historic counties of Worcestershire, Oxfordshire, Gloucestershire, and Warwickshire all meet. The Rollwrights include three monuments, the King's Men Stone Circle, the Whispering Knight's Burial Chamber, and the King's Stone Standing Stone. Let me share with you the great things about visiting here. First of all, it's inexpensive. The recommended donation to come see the Rollwright Stones is one pound per person, and you just put it in this honesty box. If you want to download free audio tours of the monuments, just visit the Rollwright Stones website that I have linked in the description. Secondly, it is accessible. You can park very close by the entrance and simply walk right up to the stones. Rather than parking miles away, hiking for ages, and being restricted behind ropes or fences meters away from the stones when you get there. Another thing to love is that the roll rides are not crowded, not touristy, and there's no overpriced gift shop enticing you. I actually had the place to myself both times I visited the roll rides. There's no museum, but there are a few plaques where you can read about the history of the sites. Archaeologists have stated that the Whispering Knight's burial chamber is probably one of the oldest funerary monuments in Britain, allegedly dating back to 3800 BC. Of course, another reason to love the roll rides is that they are in a beautiful location within the stunning Cotswold landscape. They are a convenient detour on a drive around the Cotswolds, and it doesn't take long to stop and see the stones on a day of Cotswold village visiting. Finally, the roll rides are shrouded in mystery and legend, which is really the magical part of coming to visit them. Let me recap a bit of the folklore. Once upon a time, there was a king who was marching with his army over the Cotswolds when they met a witch who challenged the king by saying, Seven long strides shalt thou take, and if long Compton thou canst see, king of England thou shalt be. The king continued his march, boldly shouting, Stick, stock, stone, as king of England I shall be known. But on his seventh stride, a mound rose up from the ground, obscuring his view, and the witch turned them all to stone, cackling as she did. As long Compton thou canst not see, king of England thou shalt not be. Rise up, stick, and stand still, stone, for king of England thou shalt be none. The king became the king, stone. His petrified army became the king's men in the stone circle, and his knights became the whispering knights' collection of stones. The witch, well, she became an elder tree. Legend also says that on certain nights, you can stand near the whispering knights and listen carefully and still hear them whispering to each other about their treacherous plans. Another legend says that the stones in the King's Men Stone Circle are uncountable. If you can count them three times and get the same number each time, you can have any wish you like. Personally, I was wishing that my husband wasn't rushing me along on the visit to the stone circle, as I didn't have time to count the stones three times. The Fairy Queen legend states that a fairy queen lives under the stones, 
and that she appears at midnight on Midsummer's Eve. It is said that if you see her, she will grant you a wish. Sounds like I need to return for a visit on June 24th. In the Middle Ages, some people believed the stones had healing powers. It was said that if a person lay down between the stones, they would be cured of any illness. I need to test this theory next time I have a migraine. These are just a few of the many legends associated with the Rollright stones over the centuries. While the true origin and purpose of the stones remain somewhat of a mystery, they continue to fascinate and intrigue visitors to this day. Hopefully you can pay them a visit yourself. I hope you enjoyed this quick visit to the Rollrights with me. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.